right? This is, I don't know, the cabinet. Uh, kind of going through it. A lot of the weird old, you know, uh, lecture harmonics synth drum things are up here. Uh, Sonic Boomer, two, uh, three space drums, panic button, one of the instant replay things. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the back there as well. Uh, a couple sequencer drums, some of the samplers, like the instant replay, and a couple super replays, which were uh, some of the first little like digital samplers. Uh, and one of the Mogwai pedals. Um, Sov Tech Big Muff and a Sov Tech Baseballs, which I think there was only a couple of these made. Um, I know of five. Uh, a couple more of the synth drum things in the back there. The uh, Super Space Drum. Oh, there's an uh, Attack Decay, which is a kind of fake tape reverse simulator. Space Drum, Space Drum, Crash Pad, uh, Synth Up. Those were the super, yeah, the super replays are. Um, knockout original, uh, the first version of the attack equalizer, triangle muff, um, original pulsar, old soul preacher, a little big muff, um, down in here, axis pedal, axis fuzz, that was the first pedal they ever made, uh, the second one in less, better, less good condition, uh, original frequency analyzer, another triangle muff, Back there, there's a um, low frequency compressor, the stereo pulse modulator, which was meant to hook up to your stereo and you dial in your resonant frequency and get super stoned. Uh, there's the original pulse modulator, which most people haven't seen. Um, it's basically three tremolos in one box. Um, it's actually not a very well designed pedal. And, it's kind of funny. Um, an original little big muff down here. We have a uh, original black finger. Actually, I think that's a V2. Yeah, that's a second version of the black finger. Foxy lady, which is basically a triangle muff. Uh, no, actually, that that's a basically a ram's head muff. Hair lip microphone echo. Not actually an echo. It's actually just a tremolo. Ram's head muff, a couple things in the back, silencer hog's foot, black finger, uh, another electroharmonics. They're uh, stereo units. It's just kind of a tone thing. Down here we get into some kind of later stuff. First version, electric mistress. Second version, electro mistress, bad stone, tech equalizer. That's another original electro mist mistress. That's a polyphase. The deluxe big muff with the uh, alternate paint, which is kind of cool. It's, it's like black and red. It's another deluxe big muff, and that's an Echo 600, um, which is sort of a, it's a digital delay with some tremolo. That's a bootleg top to a ram's head muff. Um, oh yeah, where is the rest? Uh, Clockworks drum sequencer, uh, sequencer drum, just kind of an eight step beep boop boop machine, clap track, uh, hog and some stuff, and then all in the back is all the uh, Mooga Fruger stuff. Maestro stuff, full range booster, brass master, sample hold, fuzz tone, sustainer, and the two octave boxes. I think that's the box for the sample and hold in there. Um, an old Ibanez fuzz, which is basically um, just a super fuzz. It's in the same box. This is an old uh, Ibanez fuzz wah, same thing, same circuit. Two super fuzzes. That one had the original box. There's a Octavio in the back. The old Ampeg phasers. Um, a four in the floor percussion combo, which is basically each one of these makes a different drum sound. It's kind of goofy. The funky filter, which is basically a Mutron 2 or Mutron 3, I actually can't remember off the top of my head, but it's, as far as I'm concerned, way cooler looking. And here, more Maestro stuff. 
uh, the fuzz phaser, just a volume wah, two phase shifters. I have another one of these that's just a boost, like a boost volume. Found some of the Gretsch stuff. The expand a fuzz, which is basically just a fuzz with then three different uh, EQ ranged boosts built into it. Um, the tremolo effect, which is a uh, tremolo that will affect different um, different EQ ranges differently. Gretsch Playboy, which is sort of this kind of modulation pedal that doesn't actually work. Um, um, original Mazrite Fuzzrite. I was kind of blown out. The famed Gizmotron. Uh, I love that thing because it bankrupted a company. Um, a Maestro uh, Group Master, which is basically a four channel tape echo. This is a switch for the, um, the Universal Synth. These are some old uh, Maestro uh, sample tapes. Right down here, I got the, I call it the Space Station console. Basically, it's just huge for the sake of reference. Bunch of shit built into it. Really cool, stupidly complex and oversized. We get into some of the weird Maestro band in the box stuff. Um, Rhythm and Sound, that's the Rhythm and Sound 1. That's another one of those. That's the one they made for Woodwinds, um, which is just strange. This is like a prototype thing of um, their sustainer pedal. What else we got in here? Uh, a big mix of things. Um, it's kind of the assorted pile. Some shit on top. Uh, some other stuff. Some other stuff. And there's some other bins elsewhere. So, uh, yeah, uh, that.